This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. God bless Trugo Republic. James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 14th, 2024. God bless you and yours. No matter where you are in the world, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. This has been, we've had an X flare directly earth facing in the last few minutes. We also had a very strong M flare prior to that. We're going to go into all these flares. One happened at around 2300 UTC time. The actual X flare happened right around 4 UTC time, which would be right around 9 p.m. Central here in the U.S. It was a big flare and directly Earth facing, period. Jumping over to spaceweatherlive.com actually AR3738 has become Beta Delta Gamma the most complex sunspot we know of we see 3747 also pumping out M flares and M1.8 M1.9 back to 3738 ladies and gentlemen we just saw an X1.2 directly aimed at Earth we have a 50% chance of X flare, make that 100%, uh, a 6% chance of M flare, make that 100%, and C flare, well, we run that baseline. Ridiculous, right? Ridiculous. This flare was recorded as a X 1.27 on GOES, as you will see soon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have 11 Earth-facing sunspot groups, 37, 38 being the most complex, Beta Delta Gamma, we also have 37, 47, and 37, 43, also becoming very complex here. Uh, this is going to be a shit show. Head over to Go Soul Ultraviolet Imager 195 Angstroms. Look at all the activity. Those are your M flares, the big M flares we're talking about here. Uh, we also see 37, 47 acting up as well. Uh, a coral hole in the northern hemisphere may be geoeffective, maybe not. Look what's coming around the limb. Three more named sunspots, period. All right, over to our D region uh, X-ray absorption. Deadly X-rays. That's not even the big flare. It's a small one. Let's keep going. We're in almost a 3C baseline. And look at this. Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, an X flare directly Earth facing from sunspot AR3738 inbound. Prepare yourselves. And everyone's getting a great dose of radiation through the C3 baseline now. Can you even imagine a C3 baseline? Unbelievable. It's 2.30 a.m. My phone got me up with this big X flare. Guys, I don't care. I work for you guys. Uh, please give us a super chat or super thanks. Uh, buy us a cup of coffee. Look at the sunspots coming around. They're calling them all 017. It looks like a shit show. Uh, gong down on the lower side has these all as major sunspots 
I have no idea whether they're all being called the same number, but ladies and gentlemen, we have a, well, a show to remember very soon. So here we have the X flare out of error 3738, i.e. sunspot group 3738, directly earth facing. We have not gotten any information from Lasco C3 or NASA's Isua Spiral. I'm sure we'll see it tomorrow. Definitely earth facing inbound. Uh, hold on to your horses. It's a big one. Over to STO HMI magnetogram here. Whatever black, whatever black, whatever black, whatever black, whatever black. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, black over white. That's a sunspot in the southern hemisphere. These are all supposedly, well, a shooting star for one thousandths of one percent of all sunspots. This is getting very scary. I realize the poles on the sun flip every 11 years. And we're in the process of that flip. But what we're seeing here is extremely dangerous with no atmosphere left here on Earth. Over to Soho. 284 angstroms you can see 37 38 37 47 here and look at all the new well sunspots that need to be named newly uh, this was taken at about 806 central here on the 13th we have a big coronal hole starting here in the northern hemisphere. Remember, we don't forget. We don't forgive. We just keep pressing for the truth. So, if anyone's uh, well, worried about the solar storm they claim would happen on the 13th, 14th, it never happened. They're wrong 100% of the time. I guess I'm right about 90% of the time. Uh, what we see here is a big bump up in solar winds, but they only go to 364. Plasma is still at three parts per million. What a joke. Our shields even went down, okay? What a total joke. A bunch of liars cheaters and stealers the budget for nasa and noaa uh, 84 million dollars and 57 million dollars combined is now in summary guys uh, we can all expect a coronal mass ejection that was an earth-facing sunspot here and there's nothing showing up on lasco z3 of course Maybe tomorrow, cactus. Uh, nothing anywhere, but get ready for an impact in about, well, less than 40 hours. Send me pictures of your northern lights so we can prove they're lying to us. That said, God bless. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarre's world. God bless you guys.